I'm here at Go Go Cory in the Sunjo area, and this big gorilla of a place is gonna be my first Japanese curry experience. Let's go. And just like the ramen place, there's a machine right at the entrance of the restaurant where you order all your curry. And I'm going for their number one item, pork katsu curry. And of course, I'm gonna get extra large size. I actually just changed my mind. They told me this is a combination of pork and chicken, and it's extra large. Going for this one. <laughs> I get a view of the street. This place, uh, apparently it's really famous in Japan. It's a chain restaurant, but the issue is they didn't have anything that was extremely, extremely spicy. So hopefully I can locate some kind of spice element somewhere. Oh, thank you. That's for me. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this gigantic tour. Cabbage, pork katsu, chicken katsu, four sausages, eggs, curry everywhere all on top of a bed of rice and cheese this is food challenge proportion right here and tonight this is just dinner look at this oversized service tray is being presented on and this thing weighs i feel like a minimum five pounds it is beautiful though the chicken and pork katsu is nice and crispy and golden on the outside they look tender and juicy on the inside the four sausages here hope they actually taste like sausages and not hot dogs you got one whole egg sliced a ton of cabbage and two shrimp tempuras let's dig into this guys take away the cabbage and below is just a mountain, a mountain, like Mount Fuji-esque mountain of rice. And I've got cheese as well. Also, I ordered extra gravy, so let's dump this on. Save some for later. Oh man, having a gorilla as the mascot of this place is right because this King Kong portion of Cory is mighty good. Uh, the curry is nice and thick. It's a little peppery, not too spicy. I wish I wish there was pepper I could dump on this, but I feel like for the average person, this is spicy enough. Let's try a piece of the pork, shall we? Oh, that's delicious. That's your the crunch of the pork katsu, crunchy, perfectly fried on the outside. Inside the meat is nice and tender and juicy. Tear that up with the curry and you've got something beautiful. Let's take a bite of this shrimp tempura. Again, so nice and crispy on the outside. Oh, the inside just melts. Let's try the chicken. One thing I've got to say is, everything here that they fry, they fry perfectly. And I was really surprised that my local Japanese friends referred me here, because usually you don't refer chain restaurants to people. This is incredibly tasty, satisfying, and can I mention substantial? I'm glad I got the extra curry because there's so much rice here. Let me show you guys. This is all rice, and I'm about done with my katsu, and there's not enough curry left. I might need to go get more curry sauce. One thing I am kind of disappointed with is the amount of cheese. I thought this was gonna be covered in cheese and it wasn't. It just feels like there's a few strands of mozzarella and that's about it. Here's the sausage. Oh, that's yum. And the sausage, look at this, it snaps apart really really easily and most times in life you don't want things that are snappy but when it comes to sausage the snappier the better this is something else i got raccoon these are pickled shallots this is something else really good to have when you want to cleanse your palate a bit when you're eating so much curry that's beautifully pickled nice and garlicky you know guys this might as well have been a food challenge because look at look at the size of this and i'm, I'm almost halfway through it's been about 10 minutes i'm still digging this right now i'm feeling really good i'm gonna finish this That curry was definitely delicious, and I, I took a big chunk out of it. Um, there's just not enough curry sauce. 
up with all the rice that's on here. So I don't know if I can finish that little last bit, but hey, you're lucky, man. If it's a food challenge, you'd be going damp. But delicious curry, I just wish it was spicier, and I, I am done for today. After that huge serving tray of curry, I, I feel like I need something. I need some desserts, and I'm thinking matcha. So I'm at the Green Cafe style here in Sanjo, and what caught my eye about this place, besides the lovely ice cream and this beautiful cake, is this gold matcha ice cream. Really. Not saying I ever wanna eat gold, but I'm just saying, that was eye-catching. This dessert I'm gonna have is gonna taste golden, literally. It is actually made of gold. Well, covered in a soft gold sheet. Now, I've seen this on TV, right? There's a lot of Sundays out there and uh, drinks that, that has gold in them. When did people get so rich that one day they're sitting around going, you know what, I've got so much gold. I wonder what that tastes like. The one thing is certain, it is beautiful. Soft serve matcha ice cream with what looks like popped rice on the bottom, matcha jelly with matcha powder, a mochi, a matcha dango, and soft tender tofu skin. I gotta find out what this gold tastes like. Um, look at this, this gold just dissolves with the ice cream. I was honestly actually considering whether if I should just like um, scoop up all the gold and just sell it somewhere. But here it is, my first time eating gold. And it tastes just like matcha because it has no flavor. I mean, what's gold supposed to taste like? Let me try to scoop up a, a little bit of gold on its own. There I go. I wish I could tell you that tasted luxurious. I wish I could tell you that tasted like a million bucks, but honestly, it just sort of tastes like rice paper. I'll try some of the rice pops. That is actually really enjoyable. I love a little crunch element when it comes to ice cream, whether that's from a waffle cone or whatever. And rice pops are so nostalgic for me. I remember when I used to live in China, um, the rice pop guy, would come every so often with this ginormous machine and what you would do is you would take your rice from your house down to him and he would pop it like popcorn and then he would sprinkle a little sugar on it and that would be our version of like i mentioned popcorn let's try some of this matcha jelly mm. oh i like that very matcha <laughs> no Right. This jelly is very smooth, huge matcha flavor. I love the way it breaks down in my mouth, almost like half jelly, half pudding. And I never had tofu skin as a dessert item before. Gonna eat that with a little bit of ice cream. I feel like I, I've kind of stereotyped um, tofu skin a bit. I typecasted it. To me, tofu skin should always be savory, and in a sweet dessert setting, I, I just can't, it just throws me for a loop. But this piece of mochi looks delicious. Mm. I like that. Nice and light, not dense at all. Also, I'm kind of wondering, because usually a gold sundae costs, what, like hundreds of dollars, but this is only uh, 1,200 yen, which is only about 10 bucks. So maybe the reason I don't taste any gold is because they gave me some fake gold. And that could be the reason I'm not tasting any luxury in the Sunday. Or maybe it's because you're not supposed to eat gold. I mean, melt it into a bar, make some coins out of it. Give yourself a nice pair of gold earrings. Don't eat it. I mean, you're literally turning something really, really valuable into you know, all right, that's it. It has been a great and very, very, very substantial food day. So I'm ready to call it quits. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see what else I did on this trip besides eat, definitely check out my vlog channel. All that information is in my description box. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. It would mean so much to me. Thank you all so much again for watching. See ya.